Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agar Prajapati and this video will be talking about what is the difference between NVL and Collis function in SQL in Databricks okay so what I will do now I'll just write here SQL command and let's say I'm writing select NVL okay and here we can only pass two parameters suppose you are joining a joining two tables right you are joining two tables and at that time you can use this nvl function and here you can pass a dot column and let's say b dot column something like that you can pass and if if first value is null then it will throw a, a second value a second a value without null so if i just uh, you know run this then you can see here that we will we will have this one right so what if if i if i try to write uh, one and null so it it even it returns me one only because it returns first non null value not null value okay so if i write like this then it will return me two because it will not return me null right so it will skip all the null values i mean first null value and 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 give me the uh, second uh, not null value so if i just write like this then it will return me null only because both the values are null right i hope that you have understood this now we cannot pass multiple like more than two attributes here if i just pass it over here right then it will give me this that the uh, nvl requires two parameter but the actual number is three so i should not pass more than two parameters over here so here what i'll do i'll i'll can i can write coalesce now coalesce may what what happens that we can pass multiple values multiple parameters right so if i just write like this then you can see here it returns one because one is the non null value right not null value we can assume now see the same thing what i can do i can pass here null comma null comma null three two three four five and again null for an example cool so if i just write uh, if i just you know run this then you can see it returns me two because it will skip all the nulls values which is uh, coming over here and pass me the not first not null value which is two in this case right so this is just a small uh, you know example or a difference between nvl and coalesce so sometimes people get confused like when they have to use coalesce function and then when they have to use nvl function so you can consider that you know you can use this nvl function or coalesce function in these case like if you have let's say if you have if you're using multiple tables right in a joining condition then also you can use uh, this coalesce function if you're using only two tables then maybe you can use nvl function and 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 it is not mandatory that you have to use coalesce on nvl function in joining only like while while you are joining right so let's sometimes you there is some scenarios that you know if this value is null then you have to assign a different value right so that in that case also you can use these and even though we have a function called if null so if this is uh, null right the first parameter or first uh, column uh, value is null <coughs> sorry one minute how we pass it if this is null we have to pass two parameter right like this so it returns me only one only because the first value is not null so if it is null then it returns me two i believe right so that is the difference between these you know, nvl if null and coalesce so you can use any one of it based on your requirement i hope that you have under understood this and uh, we will meet you in the next video till then bye bye thank you